our revered priest for 48 years and he is currently the parish administrator at St. Joseph Catholic Church in Phoenix, Arizona. Ladies and gentlemen, Reverend Father Reggie Carriot of class 1966 will be uh, is currently not here but his sister is here to receive the award. So we you go along his sister to please receive the award. And the good Lord never faltered to make it for me to do so whenever my shepherding is most needed. Thank you, my fellow alums, for this recognition. It is something that I will always cherish for the rest of my life. It also comes as a reward for me to continue shepherding God's flock till my very last breath. Those who have mental health issues, dementia, and developmental disability. Ladies and gentlemen, Ms. Carmelita Bautista Amales, or DA, as fondly called by her batchmates of class 1974. My dedication to the people in the state of Washington has entrusted me to care for them and my home care for so we always do my motivation to be good to my family. As God continues to struggle with the process, I will pass all these blessings to those who, like myself, experience hardship in attaining a comfort in my life. I thank my fellow owners for this lifetime achievement. This award meant so much for me, for it symbolizes a responsibility to carry on with my good things and to make return my back. So for treaties where I can give them to others. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Paul. Ms. Dan, and congratulations on your well-deserved award. Our next awardee is a nurse in Los Angeles who recently retired after more than 40 years in the profession. Please applaud for Ms. Lucy Tuazon Castro, also of Batch 1974. symbol, Caduceus, represents the role of nurses as communicators, mediators, and facilitators of healing and care. That's exactly what I did for 40 years in the nursing profession. I cared for injuries and administer medications, conduct frequent medical exams, record medical histories. Monitor heart rate and blood pressure, perform diagnostic tests, operate medical equipment, draw blood, and admit and discharge patients according to the physician's order. As I end my profession, this award means so much for me. Especially that it's coming from all of you, my fellow alums. I'm grateful for this recognition as I dedicate it to my late grandparents and parents, all my family members, and most importantly to the Almighty who made it possible. Thank you very much to all of you. 
Thank you po, Miss Lucy, and congratulations po on your well-deserved award. Our youngest awardee, we can say, who broke the glass ceiling in a male-dominated maritime industry. She owns and operates a chartering and shipping agency, a shipbuilding and repair company, and freight forwarding company. So ladies and gentlemen, let's give Ms. Vanjie Rodriguez of Batch 9090 a big round of applause. Breaking the glass ceiling as a woman in the shipping industry is a testament that anyone can achieve what they want with hard work, persistence, and perseverance. The industry where I belong, they say, is typically a man's world, but I have disproved that. Absolutely, it can also be a woman's. I would like to thank my fellow alums for this prestigious award this recognition will consistently remind me to stay on track and continue with what I enjoy the most. I also dedicate this distinguished alum award to my children that they may pursue something that they are passionate about. Maraming maraming salamat po and God bless us all. Thank you, Promise Banji, and congratulations on your well-deserved award. So fellow alums, that sums up our alumni awardees. And finally, before we conclude our event, let us all hear from our alumni board advisor, Mr. Rico Dado, for his acknowledgement remarks to conclude our AGA 7. We want to recognize first our... Uh... Before I do the uh, acknowledgement remarks, our two teachers, former teachers, who graced the occasion tonight, uh, Miss Annabel Ong Otriba, okay, yeah, Annabel Ong, uh, Annabel Ong uh, Legaspi. Yep, yeah, yeah. Our next former teacher who is also uh, here with us. Uh, a special moment here. Hello po. Oh, I know. Salamat po niya. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Okay. Miss Josie Pineda Zulueta. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Salamat po <laughs> for attending our. This is our little gift for you. Thank you, sir. Uh -huh. Yeah. And the last but not the least, my own teacher in grade school. Okay. <laughs> Miss Lourdes Carrion. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Here's your little gift. <laughs> okay, well, let, let's give them a big round of applause, please. Thank you for coming. You made our occasion special. Do you want to talk? you want a little talk? Okay, go for it. Thank you very, very much for inviting us in this special occasion of the Bats. 74 because they are the host they are celebrating their golden anniversary thank you very much we would like to convey our whole gratitude and appreciation for always inviting us in your affairs and perennially miss pineda and i are always here with you you are really value-laden individuals. That's why we are very, very proud of you. And we can see the bonding 
that you have developed among themselves. Until now, we can see that. Again, I say, continue being people who are people of character and integrity. We take a description as I see you today. Thank you very much. <clears throat> Um, thank you very much. I'm so grateful and honored to be a part of this event. And I'm also grateful that you always uh, invite us in all the special occasion and celebration in your life. You truly represent the Holy Spirit Academy through your generosity, thoughtfulness, and kindness. And as one of your teachers, I'm so proud of you. And more power to all of us. God bless. Thank you so much. And moreover, we are always on equal footing, no matter where you are. There is no competition. No envy, no pride among you. A big round of applause to all of you. Yeah. And yagang magkasag na kung pakikwaga kung pakikitanda kayo because of that. Thank you very much. Well, thank you. Thank you for, uh, yeah, for, for those kind words. Thank you, Pooh. Yeah. Okay. Well, I guess this is it. Uh, we're not saying goodbye, that means, but good night as well. But we're looking forward to our Aga 8 next year. It's going to be bigger than this. That's all I could tell you. Because uh, I think we have a theme invite the closest friends that you have and also the adult family that you have. It's going to be an evening celebration. The thinking right now, it could be at the town plaza, but that's yet to be finalized, okay? So we're aiming for a thousand attendees to 1,500. It's gonna be bigger, a lot bigger, okay? Thank you, good night, and enjoy the evening. All right, thank you so much, Po, Mr. Ricodado. And now, ladies and gentlemen, our celebration has concluded. We want to thank you all for witnessing our Aga 7. And Vienna and I hope that we will see you back at next year's Aga 8. Good night and please travel home safe. Dakal pong salamat! Let's all celebrate and have a good time.